This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. Well, Rick Flair was always available for viewing. He's here with David Crockett on Worldwide. Let's take a listen. Ladies and gentlemen, the world heavyweight champion, Rick Flair, has asked to come out here again and to talk to you fans. You must have something very important to ask the time again. Just let's crick this right off the bat. Number one, I've taken time out of my schedule to come out here again, not because I've asked to come out, but because you and your brother know the importance of featuring the greatest athlete in all of professional sports on your program. Now, my great cousin, the world television champion, just demonstrated to you, as he has so many times in the past, why he is the world television champion by defeating not a punk kid, but a great, great wrestler in Patanaka. Tully Blanchard came out here, and you made a real feeble attempt, David, if I use that word loosely, to degrade him. We all know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Tully Blanchard is a world-class athlete. And with the guidance of the great, the legendary James Day Dillon, there's no doubt on my mind, no doubt in anybody's mind, that it's only a matter of time until Dusty Rhodes oh, is without the National Heavyweight Championship. Go ahead, David. Rick, what? They said four weeks. They take it away from him in four weeks. They couldn't do it. That's it. They, they, they just couldn't do what they well, said. David, they let me do. say something to you. I broke into this great sport in 1974, and I told the whole world that I'd be the world champion by 1980. I missed it by a year. But right now, I don't care if they're in New York City, if you're in Baltimore, New Orleans, San Antonio, Charlotte, North Carolina, Richmond, Virginia, you ask anybody who the greatest wrestler alive today is, and they're going to tell you it's Ric Flair, the world's heavyweight wrestling champion. Now you see all these teeny boppers out here. Just a minute. Here comes the world television champion. You know, it's easier for us to stand out here, David, and laugh. And all the rest, you see, because we are holding, put it up there, double A. We're holding what they call world championship trophies. We're not the New England Patriots. We're not second best. We're not Dusty Rhodes. We're not second best. We're the world champions, whether you like it or not. You got people in this world, David Crockett, that won't things. You know what I'm saying? Dusty Rhodes, Magnum TA. Rock and Roll Express, Manny Fernandez, you name them. That's people that want things. Then you have people that have things. Guys like Ric Flair, the world heavyweight champion. Double A, myself, Arn Anderson, world television champion. Tully Blackson, the Midnight Express, and Jim Cornette. I'm not talking about just monetary things, David Crockett. Not material things. This you cannot buy hanging on a rack in any clothing store. Ric Flair does not dress of class, he reeks of class. Double A, you know how they call you and I Space Mountain and the Blue Sky? A little girl over here just told me they call Ricky Morton Ride the Wild Mouse, and that's the bottom line. Woo! There you are. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week on the very best in professional wrestling, worldwide wrestling. Boy, there's so many one-liners in there. I don't know how, I mean, that's like a whole week's worth of t-shirts right there. I do. How much ground was covered there? So much. I mean, it was, it was like a, a almost a state of the union address. It was like a mutual admir admiration society amongst Rick putting all of us over, you know, he put himself over, put all of us over. Then he started digging dusty and his crew and, you know, it, it just covered such a wide spectrum of subjects that, amazing what you can do in three or four minutes. And we're going to find out what you're doing the next day, March 9th. You're at the Omni working with dusty roads. Uh, Dusty's going to pick up the win by DQ, uh, as best I can tell, um, at least according to the history of WWE.com, which is where we get all of our results. Your next date is a television taping here on March 15th. And of course we're still hyping up everything around the Crockett cup, but you know, it's impossible for us to get through a weekend and not have a few words from Arn Anderson. Uh, there's a great promo here with three of you. 
Arn, Tully, and JJ. And we're going to play it and sort of catch up on, on what's going on. But I do want to ask, you know, obviously it's a different time. You weren't doing scripted promos clearly, but when there's three guys talking, so it's Arn, Tully, and JJ, did you guys have like a rule of thumb of this guy usually starts and this guy usually closes or what have you? You know, we kind of decide when we would walk out, it, it was like, or maybe we would have a, a few minutes. We would just do a skull session. Whoever had the match that probably needed the most time spent on it, we would start with that guy and make sure they had all the time they needed. And when it got time, if there was time, some, some weeks there was a time. Sometimes you get in a zone and you would just run with it and you'd use every bit of the TV time. We never had an issue with that because even if we were the guy talking and uh, there was somebody that wasn't talking, we would talk about them. It was just like Rick covered us. He put all of us over that, that kind of rub you can't get and you couldn't get uh, at that time for sure. So it, it wasn't like every single week it was, okay, me, you, and then JJ. Sometimes JJ would start. It just depended on what the story. We just tried to follow from week to week what happened last week, who would be the most pissed, and that should be the person that should go first. Common sense was a lot of it. So we hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.